is David the Shepherd School, and uh, this video is probably going to get me uh, a little bit of making fun of because I've been down to the craft aisle at the Walmart store, and that's okay. You know, I've got some needles and stuff, um, but I'm pretty secure in it. So anyway, here's what happened. I had a recipe that called for cheesecloth uh, to make some uh, cream cheese the other day, and I was pretty excited about it, and I've got lots of cheesecloth, so I went down and uh, got me some. Well, turn to find out I didn't have lots of cheesecloth. I remember buying it, but I didn't keep stock of it, so I was out. So I went around and uh, tried to find some, but I was at home and not near Nashville, so I couldn't go to my local supplier of cheesecloth. And so I went to a um, to the Walmart, actually. Went back in their craft aisle and bought some cheesecloth. Okay? Now, notice for crafts and household use, okay? It is food grade, but it is very, very, very thin, okay? This is usually used like for Halloween directs, uh, uh, decorations, you rip it a cloth, rip it about, and it looks like it's uh, spider webs. So anyway, when I did my cheesecloth, and I put the cheesecloth in it, and I went to lift it up to make a bag, all the cheesecloth came out. So I'm like, oh lordy, what am I going to do? Well, what happened was the recipe didn't call for cheesecloth from the get-go. It called for butter muslin. And the difference between cheesecloth and butter muslin is the um, tightness of the weave. Cheesecloth is generally 60 threads per inch, whereas butter muslin is 90 threads per inch, so it's a lot thicker weave. Here is some unbleached muslin and see how tighter the weave is. You can still see through it and it's great for draining. Okay, and that's what muslin is. Now, cheesecloth, a little pack of this online is about five dollars for two yards. And here it's four dollars for uh, two yards, right? Butter muslin costs the same amount. This is four yards, and it cost me a dollar fifty a yard at the local um, craft shop. And it is just unbleached cotton muslin. Okay, you wash it before you use it. It's reusable, and that's all there is to it. Here's another thing. They've got a um, new thing out called ply band, which is a plastic cheesecloth, and it's pretty expensive for little sheets and you can't buy it wholesale unless you get it in rolls and it's like five hundred dollars for a roll this is Thule nylon Thule they used to make you know out of little frou-frou dresses and such I don't know and it's a nylon weave it's it's about as thin as cheesecloth but it's nylon and it's reusable and that was about a dollar fifty uh, no, this is, I think, was $1.97 a yard. I got a couple yards of it. Here's another alternative. $1.50 a yard. Unbleached, or bleached cotton cloth. It's about like butter muslin, and it was just cheap as all get out. So there's several things you can do. Like I said, you want to learn the rule, learn why the rule is there, and then you can find alternatives. What you need is something that is porous enough to allow whey to drain, but thick enough to hold the curds in. Depending on what you're making depends on how tight a weave. If you're making like a cheddar, something like Thule will work. If you're making something like cream cheese, you're going to need something like muslin. Okay? You want it to be food safe, which means cotton or nylon or something like that, that you can wash. And it's also helpful if it's sturdy enough where you can reuse it. And I don't have it up here because it's in the wash, but something that I found that works great, and I'm going to buy a bunch of them, I got from the beer store. I told them what I was looking for. They were very helpful, and they got me a wart draining bag for making beer. It's a nylon bag. Um, it works great for that. It would think it was 450 and it's reusable. Since I got it on Friday, I've used it about four times this weekend, so... Um, whenever you use this stuff, you can wash it and then make sure that you boil it to disinfect it. Okay, and that's all there is to that. So until next time, you can always catch us online, www.tngun.com.